Hey guys, Sam Morton from Tech Fusions here, and today I've got a quick hands on look at and review of the Super Nexus ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S3. And this ROM is a 4.1.1 Jelly Bean software, so it's the true Jelly Bean software ROM. But I'll tell you more information after the intro. And we're back. Okay, let's have a look at this beauty. Now, this is a custom Samsung Galaxy S3 ROM, and it's the 4.1 Jelly Bean software, which is amazing. I love Jelly Bean. I was just waiting for this to come out on the S3, but I came across this awesome stock ROM. So, I will prove to you that it is version 4.1.1 bit of a mouthful but there we go <laughs> here we go got um, Android version 4.1.1 so if we um, keep tapping that get the Easter egg there we go and if you hold down on the jelly bean you get all the jelly beans flying over then flick them off and have all kind of fun with that so that's a little Easter egg there if you don't know that already and here we got um, Super Nexus version um, build number two. This is build two of the Super Nexus ROM for the Galaxy S3. And I've got to say, I don't think they need to do any more builds to be honest, because um, it's amazing. It's got the latest kernel version as well for the Samsung Galaxy S3 at the moment. It's got all the right jelly bean features. All the ones they announced um, at Google I.O. and that's also on the Galaxy Nexus, they're all straight on here. That's why the ROM's called Super Nexus, because it's basically making your Galaxy S3 into a um, beastly Galaxy Nexus. Okay, so um, it was created partly by um, Team Haxon. I don't know if that's right, i will pronounced it, I think so. Like Haxon, like Samson. Let's see what they did there. And it was posted by um, Faryab, I think. Far Faryab. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Here's his name. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, he's awesome for um, doing all of this. Thank you for all the people who creating this. It's an amazing ROM, and I definitely recommend it for anyone who wants the Jelly Bean ROM on their phone. It's it's very easy to get on it as well. Okay, so I'm going to go into the ROM itself now. Okay, so if we go back, go to the home screen first of all. That's the most important screen you'll be looking at, apart from your apps, of course. All right, so here's the home screen, the, the launcher, whatever you like to call it. And here we go, it's very smooth. Go across from there, there. Very smooth. Um, got the widgets here. And as in Jelly Bean, when you move down the widgets, the widgets fit around it so they just bounce into place and it's really nice animations and it's just so smooth I haven't experienced any sort of lag or force close applications on this ROM yet and I've been using it for quite a while now it, this ROM came out on August the 6th this build 2 so um, and it's a very good ROM and I really like it one thing I'm going to mention um, it didn't come as uh, with Google Chrome for its stock browser. It's still got its own browser which is pretty decent and we we'll go into that in a sec. Here's the app tray by the way. Um, look how smooth the transitions are. You can just see. Very nice. Um, here's the widgets. Get a number of widgets with it as well. Okay, and that's enough about them widgets. Okay, I'm just going to show you the lock screen. It's got the um, custom lock. So there we go. It turns off kind of like you're switching off a TV or something like that. It's just a nice feature. I like that. Okay, here's um, the lock screen. So basically you put your finger in there and you can twizzle that about then if you want to unlock it you can go straight to the right if you want to go to camera oh, 
took too long there. If you want to go to the camera, just go left. And if you want to go on Google Now or Google Search, whatever you like to call it, just go up and you can go on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you unlocks just like that. Okay, um, from here I'm going to show you the camera. So you just quickly swipe here and you go into the camera. So basically the camera is smaller than the actual Nature UX which is on the Samsung um, ROM at the moment, the official Samsung um, ice cream sandwich ROM and what is going to be on the official Jelly Bean ROM and you can see the camera screen is actually much smaller I don't really like that, um, I prefer um, what Samsung did with their camera application which is very nice and it's a really good camera, I'll just get um, something to take a photo of and I'll be back in a sec ok so here I've got my little um, display tortoise <laughs> There you go. Um, as you can see, it auto focuses and it turns on the flash when needed. And it's really quick. If I just take a quick photo of it, bam. There we go. You didn't even know it. Took a photo. Are you sure you're watching? Ready? Bam. And that was it. That was the photo taken. And it's really good detail. The gallery is really good as you can see on that, it just looks amazing I can't get over how good this phone is it's crazy you find new information about this phone every day there's my dummy HTC One X I used to put the iSensuals case in there we go and I will go back to the lock screen get rid of Mr. Tortoise for now, bye bye and ok we're back on the lock screen so now we're going to go to Google Now swipe up and it goes straight on there and this is really good, I'm actually really impressed with this um, it's much better than Siri and all of that stuff, I know it's copying Siri, I know all of that you can comment what you like down below but you will see for yourself it's much um, quicker than Siri I like the simplistic look which is really nice okay so I'm just gonna ask it a simple question what is the weather like in London it's 21 degrees and partly cloudy in London and partly cloudy in London so there we go it's got a really nice voice actually <laughs> no don't worry about that I meant it's got a nice tone it's not robotic it's not um, like Siri she sounds a bit like a robot but this one gives it more of a human human voice so that's all good um, if I ask something else search monkeys on Google and there we go search monkeys and it's very easy and I like this feature as well you uh, can click on images, places and then if you click on more it gives you more options where you can uh, swipe through so if you say Galaxy S3 and it comes up with Galaxy S3 and then you can uh, click on more and if you go on shopping so if you're tempted to buy one from this you can go and shop in and have a look what's the best deal 339 pound that is very good Just right there okay now we're gonna go back okay I'm gonna show you another feature on Google search quickly okay so um, here's all your cards can uh, come up, I'll just press show sample cards so you can see ok, um, weather, traffic, public transport, flights, sports next appointment, translation, currencies, time back home places all the good stuff that Jelly Bean's got so um, that's really good I'll show you one last thing how tall is Kobe Bryant? So that's a thing that they always show on Apple devices and all other devices. 
and quite a lot of tech reviewers use that exp example so um, there we go and I like the nice pictures here and once you're done with it you just throw it away like that okay now I'm gonna go into the browser itself so the normal stock browser so if we go on it here we go um, it's very quick so what I'm going to do is go on our website quickly techfusion.webs.com yes it's only a free website at the moment we're working on getting a domain name and working on to get it better but you shall see no oh, I didn't want to start up T-Torrent that was a bit random but there we go um, there's a mobile website not that great um, let's go on a better website let's go on a um, let me think. Let's go on Techno Buffalo. Techno Buffalo, awesome. Um, my idols. There we go. Um, Techno Buffalo. There's their mobile website. As you can see, it's very quick. Let's go on one with quite a bit of um, pictures, animations. Go on New York Times. So we search it up. It's very fast. This is on a slow internet connection, by the way. You can see I've only got two bars. But there we go. All 3G works, by the way. All of that good stuff works. Here we go. Um, it's all nice stuff. Okay, we have a look at the options. It's basically like the Samsung Galaxy S3 ones. You can go on settings. It looks all really the same. Pressing this, you get all the different tabs that's a nice feature there and then you just swipe it away they keep with the nice swiping away it's very easy to have one thing um, I think they could improve on is like have a close all button and then they'd be like are you sure do you want to close all and then just press yes I think that'd be easier than swiping 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 just my thought and opinion Okay, so um, once we're back out of there, I'm just going to um, show you the multitasking as well. Um, with Samsung, what they did is they actually had a clear all button and task manager. And if you've got a Samsung Galaxy S3, you would know this. Um, I think they should have it on here, it's great. But you just have to um, swipe them all the way like that okay so I've gone over basically most of the basic stuff on it um, if we just have a quick look at settings again you can see it's laid out like ice cream sandwich um, still the same on jelly bean really and it's all good stock stuff so you can see everything's stock nothing's been customized no third party apps none of that rubbish all nice clean stuff and is a really nice app even if we're going to the calculator na, 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 na. there we go now we press home button and we go back to the home screen how exciting right <laughs> let's do some benchmarks on this so what we're going to use first is the quadrant standard when I find it there we go Okay, run full benchmark, and I'm just going to fast forward it. Okay, so the benchmark has finished. Let's press yes okay and our device it kills all the other ones as it did on the normal run so that's really good as you can see um, the one X is basically the same there's not much in it really okay and now we're going to do another benchmarks the I know two 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 two, two benchmark so Let's click on that one. Uh, close. 
Okay, so here we go, it's got Samsung Galaxy S3, blah de blah blah. Right, let's press test. Um start. Again I'm gonna be back once it's done. Okay, now it has finished. Let's have a look. It's done very good. There's all the results there, so you can read them and make what you like of them. And to be honest, I don't really care about all the benchmarks. It runs smoother, and I can tell you that now. I mean, as you can see from the benchmarks, it's exactly the same as the ROM it comes with, like performance wise. I mean, it's just great. I really do like this ROM. I definitely recommend it. And it's very stable to use every day. So you could use this as your daily driver OS. Which is awesome. So this was Samwon from Tech Fusions. Um the link be down in the description where to download this awesome app from. Um please tell us if you want to see a installation video, how to install tutorial of this amazing ROM, Super Nexus. Also, please check out our other videos of our S3s and all other tech videos. We have got a big giveaway coming up, so make sure you check out our channel. If you like this review and hands-on, please give us a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. This was Sam Morton from Tech Fusions. Thank you. Bye.